Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Of course, you just saw us as we sat down with our little sisters of Spelman College, and clearly these young women have got it together. Mm -hmm. But it also made us think about if we knew then what we know now, mm -hmm. oh God. how mm -hmm. would we do things differently, mm -hmm. or would we? Mm -hmm. Which brings us to the question of what would you tell your younger self? Mm -hmm. My God, today. <sighs> Friday, Friday. Yes. You want to go? Well, we also did the segment one, one time before, mm -hmm. uh, and I said uh, I would tell my younger self to be patient, mm -hmm. to not be anxious for anything, because when you're anxious, you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. I would also tell myself newly and freshly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, say um, it. <laughs> and, my, and my dad used to say this all the time when I was young, you're so trusting, you're so open, you're just open to everybody, you're so trusting. And uh, he was right. And I think now as an adult, I've gotten better with that. And especially even now, especially with dating, mm. I am very, very, very almost emotionally removed mm. when it comes to dating right now because um, I don't want to open up and fully trust. So I, it, because I'm trying to protect myself from being mm -hmm. disappointed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So I move with caution. Not saying that I don't, that I'm not, um, that, that I'm callous, right, right. that I'm callous to trust right, right, because right. I'm yes. not. However, I am more precautious when trusting. That's good. Ooh, that's yeah. real good. That's yeah. real good. You snapped on that. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, Appreciate you. you it's time. just real life talk. Yeah. That's it. No, that's yeah. real talk. Yeah. Um, you know, I was, as I sit here and think about all the things that I could have to told myself, it's probably like a thousand, you know, mm. I could have told myself. But then I thought to myself, well, Maybe had I told myself all those things, I wouldn't have been able to experience some of these things that mm -hmm. brought me to these, um, brought me to the woman I am today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I had to kind of go through the fire a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to get to this type of mentality. Mm -hmm. However, semicolon. I would have, semicolon, <laughs> in my train of voice, I would have told myself two very key things. Okay. Uh, one, save money. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about at a young, young age, mm -hmm. like, like 15, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I would have, really saved more that's and had good. like a bank account and really mm -hmm. like save, save. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's good. Um, and then two, I had to write this one down because this is a big one for me. I would have told my younger self, moving away from your comfort zone is not a final decision to admit your family, your comfort zone or whatever, your friends, admit them out of your life. Mm -hmm. Omit them out of your life, that's right. So like when I was younger, you know, I stayed in Chicago for a very long time because I was afraid of being outside of my comfort mm -hmm. zone, mm -hmm. not knowing what's out there. You know, now I traveled a lot, but I really should have just moved mm. and went to LA or went to New York and just got out there and lived. Mm. I still would have had family. I still would have had the same friends. Yeah. You know, so if I was, if I could tell anybody young, That's I would good. say live, be mm. okay with mm. living and not being and out and not outside of fear yeah. because there's so much out there for you. I just feel like I missed a lot because I just stayed so. So the circle is the bomb. Insulated, yes. you know. That's good. Yeah, you know what? Over the weekend, I was with my. Line Sisters and I, we were talking about the show. I was like, this show has made me so much better. Mm. Um, not only as a, a, a co-host, uh, but as a woman, as a mother, as a friend, I am better because of this show, mm -hmm. because of the topics that we get to discuss about uh, actually putting a mirror to yourselves, because yeah. we have to see ourselves yes. yeah. every single day. And so um, I would say to my younger self, be a little bit more forgiving. And I also would have lived by myself. I never lived alone. Right. Neither have I. I've never lived alone. I, never lived alone. I went what? from college to uh, moving back home. Then my brother moved back home from St. Louis. I moved with him. And then I got engaged and I became married. Wow. I never lived alone. Wow. And so I would tell women to take a little time for yes. yourself. So mm. Because I always imagine myself being like Neil Long and Love Jones, having a loft opening up the and door turning up. and <laughs> having a glass of red wine and say, yeah. come on in, I've got dinner for you. I was never able to do that. Mm. So I would say, take a beat, live a little, mm. and be okay with taking your time yeah. into changing your life for the rest of your life. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. what I would do. That's, That's a real yes, yes. Lydia. That's deep, because yes. there's a lot yes. of women who it probably is. have never, never done lived that. Never, ever, ever. never lived alone. Ooh. Wow, yeah. I would tell myself two things. I would tell myself, stop being so scary. Mm. All the time, you know. <laughs> that's, real, I mean, that's real but, talk, but, though. I mean, of so many different things. Mm -hmm. Scared to live, you know. Mm -hmm. Scared to be alone, mm -hmm. you know. And scared of birds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Take the time. <laughs> to, I'm scared, scared of, of birds. Serious. Scared, scared of germs. germs. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
enjoy nature, enjoy the dirt, enjoy the grime, you know, because you live, you go through this life one time. That's it. That's it. But the second thing I would tell myself is don't slow down so that other people can catch up. Ooh. I would tell myself that. And I'm, I'm telling my older self that right now. Mm -hmm. And I can't dim myself because my light blinds you. Okay. I can't do that. And I've done it for so many different people, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's my career, whether it's a husband, whether mm -hmm. it's what, all of those things. And I have to really teach myself, reteach myself as my older self how to do these things that's because good. I didn't teach it to myself when I was younger. Wow. That's good. I love it. That's and what I'm saying. That applies for everybody. And that's how I'm saying the show has changed yeah. us. Mm -hmm. so and cool. I know each of you have felt that in a, in a certain type of way yes. because of these types of conversations. Absolutely. And our guests. Yes. Uh, we have so many experts come on yeah. here that, mm -hmm. I mean, spirit alone. Yes. It's impossible to watch this show and not be moved to a greater you. Yeah. It's impossible. Yes. That's it true. happens and you don't even know what's happening. Mm. My God, we want to hear from you. What would you tell your younger self? We'll be right back. Mm. It happens mm. and you don't even know what's happening. It's the truth. It's the truth.